Hey guys, Colorado Camper Man Brian here. So in today's video, I'm gonna be doing a review on the Renogy 200 amp hour deep cycle gel battery. We just got back from a two night stay at Pueblo Reservoir. Uh, we camped out there where we did not have any hookups. So we relied on our battery for the last two nights as well as our 100 watt Renogy solar panel briefcase to charge us back up. So um, in the video here, I'm gonna talk a little bit first about our rig and our setup that we have. Then I'm gonna talk about the specs of the battery and then talk about how the battery did on our trip. Uh, lastly, I'm gonna wrap the video up with a giveaway. So I'm gonna be giving away three of these Renogy E-Flex solar panels, as well as three of these Renogy E-Lumen flashlights. So stick around till the end of the video to find out how you could potentially win one of these. So let's go ahead and get started with the review. So let's first talk about our setup. So our camper is a 2010 Keystone Hideout 27BWE. We primarily use our camper uh, going dispersed camping or we go to campsites where we do not have hookups. So we rely heavily on our battery setup as well as on our solar panel uh, setup that we have to keep our batteries charged and keep us going. Uh, this last year our deep cycle batteries did die on us and so we were looking to get a new set of batteries uh, that would work well with our 100 watt Renogy solar panel briefcase. So I emailed the good folks at Renogy and asked them what would be the best battery for our setup. And they recommended their gel batteries. So I had the choice to go with their 100 amp hour or the 200 amp hour 12 volt battery. And I chose the 200 amp hour. I did this based on a battery sizing formula that they have on their website. That was very helpful for me and I would recommend you guys checking that out as well. Uh, while I was talking to Renogy, uh, it sounded like we could work really well together. Um, so uh, they actually gave me a great discount on the battery uh, for me doing this review. So now let's talk about the specs of this battery. So as of May 2019 on Reggie's website, this battery goes for about 450 bucks with free shipping, which it's pretty sweet that it ships for free because the thing weighs 128 pounds. Uh, you do need to be home or someone does need to be home to sign for the battery when it arrives. So first off, the dimensions of the battery. So it's about 20.7 inches long by 9.5 inches wide and 8.7 inches high. So just as a comparison, here is a normal deep cycle battery. So you can kind of see the difference. This thing is definitely big. If you're going to be putting it on your camper, you probably will need to modify your setup, which I will have to do here. Um, not a big deal for me because this battery is awesome and uh, well worth the modification. I'll throw a screenshot of the specs on the battery. So feel free to pause it here. So one of the main features of this battery is that it can deliver a thousand cycles at 50% DOD which is depth of discharge. In comparison, if you buy a normal deep cycle battery from Walmart, the lower you drain that battery, the worse it will perform in the future. So most uh, deep cycle batteries also, if you drain the battery too low, uh, you may ruin the battery. So that is where this battery really excels. This battery is also primarily used with solar systems and again that's where it really performs the best. The nice thing about gel batteries is there's no off gassing like with normal deep cycle batteries and there's no acid to spill. So if the battery cracks or if it breaks you're not going to get acid everywhere. Uh, lastly this battery is also maintenance free so there's no adding distilled water or doing anything like that. 
All right, so now let's talk about our trip. So like I said, we spent two nights out at Pueblo Reservoir and the weather was not typical at all. In fact, it was overcast probably 70% of the time. So we were not getting that solar recharge like we normally would. And then to top it off, because of that, uh, it was super windy, it was rainy, and we were cooped up in our camper for a large portion of the trip. Uh, we even were watching movies, which we never do when we camp, but we were stuck inside the camper because of the weather. So, um, and then to top it off at nighttime, it dropped down to 32 degrees and we had the furnace running. So pretty much literally the entire time we were out there, we were running some type of load on the battery. So as far as testing the battery out, uh, for usage. This was a great weekend. <laughs> uh, not so good for, for camping, but a great weekend to test the battery out. So how did the battery do overall? Well, honestly, it did awesome. Um, one of the first things that I noticed was that it felt like we were hooked up to shore power. And what do I mean when I say that? Well, um, for instance, when we have our stove exhaust fan on, if we were to go in our bathroom and turn on our little fantastic fan in there, you would hear a drop in the stove fan. Like you would hear the RPMs kind of go down and you could tell that you turned some other type of large draw on. Uh, with this battery, there was no drop. It, uh, these fans sounded as if we were hooked up to shore power. Also, after it got dark, and we weren't collecting any more solar power coming in. Um, we had watched a movie for almost three hours. We had all the lights on. And like I said, it got to down to 32 degrees. So the furnace was constantly kicking on. And at least in our experience, our camper's furnace is probably the biggest draw on, on the batteries for sure. If we would have been doing all those things with our old deep cycle batteries, Let's say our deep cycle batteries were at 13 volts. After a night like that, they probably would have dropped between 11 to 11.5 volts. This battery was at 13.1 volts at night. And when I checked it in the morning time, it had just dropped to, it was between 12.7 and 12.8 volts. So not a significant drop at all. We still had plenty of power left. And that was with a night of very heavy usage on the battery. And like I said, we did not recharge this battery very much from solar. Uh, for on this trip on Saturday, our panel was outside for about 13 hours and we only brought in 37 amp hours. On a normal day, we're bringing in 60 to 65 at the minimum. So we were not getting that recharge like we normally would. So like I said, overall, this battery did awesome. Uh, the only thing now I'm kind of realizing is that I probably need to get some more solar panels to get this baby uh, fully charged up. Um, so I'm planning on either adding another one or 200 watts to the roof, or I may get another briefcase, but I think I need to now up my solar panels to be able to make sure I can recharge this bad boy. Well guys, that pretty much wraps it up for this review on the Renogy 200 amp hour deep cycle gel battery. If you guys do have any comments or questions about the battery, put them in the comments section below. Now let's talk about this contest. So again, I'm going to be giving away three of these E-Flex solar panels and three of these E-Lumen flashlights. Uh, Renogy gave these to me at no cost, so thank you Renogy for supporting this giveaway. So here's the three things you need to do in order to potentially win one of these. The first thing you need to do is take a screenshot showing that you are subscribed to Colorado Camper Man. The second thing you need to do is take a screenshot showing that you're following Renogy on Instagram. They're at Renogy Solar. So take a screenshot of that. The third thing you need to do is take a screenshot showing that you are subscribed to Renogy's newsletter. To sign up for their newsletter, just go to renogy.com, scroll all the way down on the bottom right corner, 
there's a little box where you can subscribe. Just type in your email address, hit submit, take a screenshot of that next page. The first six people to email me with those three screenshots will win one of these, okay? Uh, I'll put my email address in the video here. So again, this first come, first serve, first six people will win one of these. And please specify if you'd rather have the flashlight or the solar panel. So thanks again to Renogy for the help in this video. And thank you guys for supporting the channel and watching this video. I really appreciate it. So uh, if you guys enjoyed the video, throw a like, subscribe if you haven't, and we'll see you in the next one.